Hello, this is Dwayne, and I am so absolutely glad to take this time to just share this program with you. Well, today, I want to talk about a very serious subject, five reasons why you may be broke. This is very, very serious, and I hope to get your attention if it's necessary. You may want to pass this to someone else, share it with family, because we've got to come up from this place. Well, before I get there, I want you to do me a favor. Subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I'm putting up more great content like this every single solitary day. I have a goal of helping 30 million people around this globe build, live, and sustain a wealthy life. And I would love for you to be one of those people. Come on and connect with me. Great opportunity in the description for this video. Well, like I said, I want to talk about five reasons why you may be broke. My goal with this program is to have awakenings happen where we get busy and start building, living, and sustaining a wealthy life. Let's get after it. Well, like I said today, I want to talk about five reasons you may be broke, and I'm going to get right into it. The first reason that I believe you could be broke today is that you never learned financial literacy. You know, it's very unfortunate that many people grow up in family systems where we just simply wing it. Money comes in somehow. Bills get paid somehow. Oftentimes, we have no real clue what it means to manage. Do you know management is a responsibility that every person getting a dollar has? Any money that you receive that is not under assignment is not being managed. Financial literacy, in a nutshell, really is all about learning financial management, learning how to effectively manage the resources that you have been given. And so if I don't know what an asset is, what a liability is, if I don't know what income is, I'm in danger of being broke. If I don't really understand the difference between things like tax avoidance and tax evasion, if I don't understand what a cash flow means, chances are I might be broke. And there's opportunities sometimes because we lack financial literacy, sometimes we are faking it, making it look like we got it going on. When in reality, we don't have anything whatsoever really going on. So reason number one, never learn financial literacy. Second reason, you make all of the creators of social media rich, but you won't buy stock in the companies putting these things out, creating these sites. I can remember opportunities and times talking to people about certain social media sites that would be a great investment to make. And we'll make the people billionaires and we will be on the site all day long. But don't care to use the site in a way that it's going to be beneficial to me. And that is to own a part of it, to own stock, have rights to participate in the benefit, the market cap, this company going up, this company making more money, to have a possibility of benefiting when these positive things happen. You may be a person who is on it all day long, but owns none of it. That could be a reason why you're broke. Or a third reason, uh, you love your iPhone. 
or you love your Android phone or your earbuds or your Apple Watch or your Android Watch, you love them, but you won't buy stock in Apple and you won't buy stock in Google. Half the times, there are a lot of times, you have to think about this. Do I even recognize that this phone comes out new every year just about? And I've got to have it. I got to have it, man. It's The camera's gonna be better. I got to have this, man. Everybody's got one. It's the 13, 18, 21 version of it. And I keep putting out a thousand and some dollars to get it. And I could buy the stock for under $200 and won't buy it. So I carry the best devices with all the contacts, all of my friends, all the people that I'm going to be on social media with all day long. And we're just keeping up with each other. But I'm not progressing financially because I refuse to own the company who produces the devices that I can't go anywhere without. Is that you? Are you one of those people who can't go anywhere without your phone? Are you one of those people that whether you're at the restaurant, whether you're at work, on the bus, in the car, on the couch, you're on your device, but you don't even know how to buy stock in the company who made the device? That may be a reason why you're broke. The fourth reason, it could have something to do with the songs you're listening to and the music I mean, the songs in the movies, because many times we don't understand this. I, personally, me, I've been saying this for years and years and years, that music frames something about you. The music you're listening to says something about what you're believing. The problem is a lot of times the people behind the words that I'm listening to are not saying anything that's going to cause me to go into a direction that's going to make my life profitable. So I'm listening to somebody tell me that I got to have these shoes. I'm listening to somebody tell me I've got to wear this kind of watch or have this purse or these shoes or this kind of hat. Or I've got to have this type of thing. Or I'm watching a movie and in this movie, uh, this is the theme. This is the message. And so in order to fit in. I've got to be doing what they say, they, whoever they are, they say I've got to do. And what ends up happening is that I'm right in step with the music, I'm right in step with the movies that I'm watching, but my finances are shot. I'm broke. I'm making them rich because I'm I'm downloading the songs and I'm definitely watching the movies. I got the, the stuff on my TV so that I, when it come out, I can be able to see it. I got all of that going on, feeding my mind, and nobody is telling me, get up and do something with my financial life. I'm getting older, and yet I'm sitting here entertained, enjoying it. I can tell you the top 10 songs. As soon as it comes on the radio, I got it going on with the song, but let me tell you something. I don't have anything really going on I'm broke. I am three days away from being broke. If I got laid off, I'd be broke. If I got fired, I would be broke. I don't have an emergency fund. I ain't got nothing in place, nothing in position. I would be broke. The fifth and final reason you believe looking good is more important then three things. One, it's more important than using debt to build wealth. Looking good is more important. I would rather look good. Just make sure every day I get out that I'm looking the part. So my hair is done, no matter how much that costs me. I got the devices. I got the right purse, the right pair. I got everything on that the people advertising to my community told me I've got to have on. But I'm in debt. I got everything they're telling me to put on, but I'm going to Renner Center because I cannot possibly own anything through, through, through natural means. I, I can't do it. I don't have the resources because I'm broke. I can't buy these things. I'm broke. The other thing that I, you know, my credit is messed up. 
So I pay higher interest rates for everything I got. I, I finally was able to get into this car, went to buy here, pay here, and I got me a car and you know, I'm paying this car down. It's extra payments because I gotta give them something every week or every two weeks because I'm broke. So my credit is messed up. I got this credit card, I, I got this debt, it's, it's messed up. And then the third thing, I definitely don't invest. I will not invest in the cryptos. I'm not investing in stocks. I'm not, I don't know, that stuff is, you know, that's just people trying to take your money. But I'm look, but I look good. Look, go out the house every day looking 500. But in debt, got bad credit and no investments. These are reasons why you might be broke. Now here's what's good. You don't have to stay broke. Broke, this is a word that I heard as a young boy that came from the older people. Broke means you ain't got no money. You might be broke because everybody you hang around is broke. But all y'all look good. Everybody got the latest whatever. Don't own nothing. We can change that. This is why this channel exists, because here we're going to talk about getting out of bad debt, using good debt to build wealth, establishing great credit with credit scores of 750 and above, getting myself investing in assets that put money in my pocket, stocks, bond, crypto, real estate, artwork, music, lots of things that I can invest in, NFTs, things that are going to put money in my pocket, and I've got to get started. I've got to stop buying the hype and start buying the reality. I want you to understand you could be broke, but you don't have to stay broke. Maybe nobody said anything in your family. Nobody's tried to help you, but you're watching this. Do something about it. Get connected, get engaged in your own life. Look at your bank account and don't be happy with what you see. Look at your own credit score and don't be happy with what you see. You can do better than what you've done, but you've got to come away from the practices that consistently have kept you stuck and bound. Well, I hope that you have heard this completely and that if it was necessary, it shakes you up. You may know somebody who really needs to hear the five reasons why they might be broke. I could have talked about 10 reasons, but they may need to really hear this. And for those of you in my community, come on, let's get up and do something, make something of our lives. We're better than broke. Well, I'm so glad to have had this opportunity to share, to share, to share this with you. And I hope you'll do something with it. Well, I want you to be blessed. Have an absolutely great day. Let's build, live, and sustain wealth together. This is Dwayne, the Wealth Connector. So glad to connect you to your wealthy life. Be blessed.